Hey guys, this is PMR Bones 88. And during the weekend, I went to the movies and theaters and I saw it was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. So this was the sequel to the after of uh, 2014 of Ninja Turtles. The first film was okay, it was a good start, talking about their origins, but a little different. And with the new turtles design, they were very different and I'm trying to get used to it, so the turtles are designs are okay, but they weren't not as better than the um, Jim Henson's Muppet creation of the 1990 film of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But now with Out of the Shadows, this became a true Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie, and they have all the good elements, and the turtles are back and bringing all the characters back to April O'Neil, played by Megan Fox, of course. Stephen Edmel, which we all know him, has the Green Arrow from the Arrow series, and he play as Casey Jones. Will Arnett returns to play as Fern. The Shredder is back, and we introduce to the characters, and finally, Bebop and Rocksteady. And lastly, it's not a spoiler alert, and we see him like in a couple, couple of the trailers and TV spots, Krang. So now this movie is about the Ninja Turtles, they're back and we see them now much more because this time they're the main characters, not from the first film that they were side characters. This time they're the main characters and we see them much more. And Shredder escapes from prison and brings re new reinforcements which were Bebop and Rocksteady which were played by Gary Anthony Williams and WWE wrestler Sheamus. And along with his other side of el another ally, a scientist named Baxter Stockman, which was played by Tyler Perry. When I saw Tyler Perry playing as Professor Baxter Stockman, he does act like and almost resembles to uh, Andre the Black Nerd. He's another reviewer. He does movie reviews. He does toy reviews. I'm not making fun of you. Don't worry, Andre. You're a nice guy and you're really awesome. I love your reviews and you keep up the good work. So I'm not making fun of you. I'm just pointing it out saying that you and Baxter are so alike because of your expressions. Now I saw, I saw this movie twice. One time I went to see it by myself and then the second time I went to see it with a friend of mine. Me and her, we we liked it. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I liked this film and she liked it too. And there were some elements that they used from the original Ninja Turtles film and the original animated film that we used to grow up on. They used so many elements, but sometimes they kind of overdo it. When you watch it, it almost looks like you're watching a Saturday morning cartoon. Not in a bad way, but sort of a good way. Just to um, how you know about the Ninja Turtles and how they grow up on it but it looks a little familiar because out of the shadow almost resembles to part two ninja turtles the secret of the ooze because they use some of these elements too the only difference was between secret of the ooze and out of the shadows that bebop and rocksteady weren't in this film not in secret of the ooze and speaking of rocksteady and bebop we all finally got to see them in action in a live action film to be exact because it was, I said it before and I'll say it again, it took us a long time to see it. And hallelujah! There, I said it. I think the only best scene ever was between uh, the Turtles and Bebop and Rocksteady. That was it. And Shredder, not really too surprising. We only see him just for a couple of minutes and we barely see him fighting with the Turtles. Or actually, he doesn't really fight them at all. Don't get your high hopes on Shredder. He barely does nothing. As for um, Casey Jones, Stephen Amell playing as Casey Jones, he wasn't a too bad, too bad actor. I mean, I only wish he, his hair would have been a little longer, or he could have had a shaggy, or wear a wig or something. That way, it, he would portray as the character. 
I mean, he did wear the hockey mask, but the problem is he only wore it just one time and then that was it. He fought off the Foot Clan and that was it. When we see him in another sequel of Turtles 3, I hope we see him more and hopefully he let his hair grow long and he wears the hockey mask much more. And Megan Fox playing as April O'Neil, she didn't do too much and she barely does anything. All Megan Fox is is just kind of playing herself, but at least she's a side character and this time not the main character like in the first film. Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadow, I would say it's really worth watching it and if those of you who are a Turtles fan, you should definitely go see it because it will not disappoint you, but the only thing you'll probably be a little disappointed of is just Shredder and that's it. Oh, and Casey Jones. But Casey Jones has a, an origin story though. I forgot to mention that. So it's kind of an origin about Casey Jones and how he does become a vigilante. But seeing him as a cop... Uh, I don't know. That was just a bad move right there. So just to rate this film for Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows, I will have to give it a um, 8.7 out of 10. A good Turtles movie franchise. And this was probably like the, the best of this year. Just only for Ninja Turtles out of the shop because it's way better than the 2014 one. But it's not as better than the um, Ninja Turtles 1 and 2. But it's better than part 3. I will have to give you that credit. And the Turtles seeing them in action, fighting off the Foot Clan, and saving the world, and saving their New York City, and stopping bullies, that's entertaining. So I'll be looking for them when this film comes on Blu-ray and DVD. And this is Peter Marbone and CDA signing off and saying is Cowbunga dudes. Oh, and I also want to make a shout out to um Andre the Black Nerd. He does, like I said, he does a lot of good reviews. He does movie reviews, he does toy reviews. So his link is down below. Check him out. You'll probably like him. And peace!